today we're going to be doing a product review or product try on i got this from amazon it's called a donut maker but i saw a nigerian use this to make puff puff so since i'm making puff puff today i want to try it it's called the donut maker it's called a donut donut maker i bought it for two dollars and the shipping was 1.99 so it was everything came to like four dollars so i want to try it out today it took a whole while for this thing to get here like more than 30 days I'm gonna wash it. You're supposed to actually put the dough here, in here, and you press it down, and it comes out right here for you to make your donut or puff puff. So I want to try it out and see how it works and if it's actually a good product to buy. Let's do this. I'll wash it first. Okay. I'm gonna wash it. Wash it. Soak it. Soak it in warm water and salt for like. Ooh, maybe 30 to 45 minutes and when you finally bring it out you wash it you wash all whatever it is out of it and after this all I'm gonna do is just wipe it down. And now the second method is to make sure I drip some oil in it so my dough doesn't stick to it. This is plastic. This is made of plastic, just the string and this two hands. So I think it's actually done like this. It's done like this. Two and one. I press it down. See how the inside closes up that's how the, the door releases itself see the inside the door right here see my hand right here that's where the door passes through and releases itself so i'm done doing that i'm gonna drip it in some oil some good old oil so i'm just gonna do this like this this oil is here waiting for me to use it for frying anyway and this oil is cold make sure you don't use Hot oil. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to turn on the oil so my oil can start getting hot. Don't forget, you have to use cold oil. Don't use hot oil. Don't forget, you have to use cold oil. Don't use hot oil. I'm just using my finger to make sure. It goes very well around it inside, and I'm gonna leave it to sit. I'm leave it to sit. Okay, that's it. While my puff puff mix or donut mix or whatever mix you wanna try with is already risen after 45 hours, 45 minutes. I'm just trying to make sure there's no more air trapped inside. Let's get it out of the way. Yo. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Huh? It's going to be some good puff puff today. Just taking out the air that's inside. Making sure there's no air inside. This is good. Good mist. Good mixture. Since there's no air, see how it's gone down now. So I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna wait for this to give you some time to go up. Alright. I used to scoop this and put it in here. See why we put the oil because it's slimy. You need the oil to make it go. You need the oil to make it go, go. Actually, until I've known that I put a good amount. But since we are trying this, whoa, it's coming out. <laughs> okay. 
it will just stop it from coming out. Whew. Well, it's actually good. I'm trying it out for you guys. So we stop it from coming out. We push it all the way down. And let's go to the pot and see how this acts. So now I let it go. I push it. Uh huh. Okay. See that, that's that's the result of one. One more. Okay. <laughs> I think it's actually better if you're Nigerian to do it the way that we do it. This is epic fail. It doesn't come out like what you see in the videos. No, it does not. It comes out as puff puff. So when people do a review and say like, oh, it's so good. It's so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want you guys to see it. I know how to mold donuts with my hand. I could as well mold it with my hand and tell you guys like, oh, it's good, it's good. No, it's not. See the outcome of it? It's an epic feel. It's giving me for fourth vibe right now. Maybe I really need to get a hang of it, but no, nope, it's not. See how it's coming out? But in the videos, you see it coming out perfectly fine. It, it's not all you see by influencers that make it go wow. I will tell you if it works and if it does not work. That's what I'm here for. If you know any products that you want to try, put it down in the comment section below. I will try it for you. Let me, let me be your tester. Let me be your reviewer. I will review it for you. So what are you going to tell? See? This doesn't, it doesn't work. This is for Puff Puff, not for donuts. So what are you gonna tell people when you wish to buy, when they want to buy it? Um, don't buy this for for donuts. This is for puff puff. <laughs> it does not give you that perfect donut shape. It gives you a nice puff puff shape. <laughs> so if you're a Nigerian or maybe a South African or Zimbabwean from any of the African countries that know what puff puff is, or I've forgotten what they call it in South Africa. I used to know. In the Caribbean, they call it the. Yeah, they call it um fiesta. Oh, yeah. The Jamaicans call it fiesta. So it is not donuts. See the shape is given to us? Okay. That's not what it's supposed to give to us. That's part the hole. Here is supposed to be the round and then here is supposed to be a hole here. It does not give you that shape. Forget all you see on videos. All people make and tell you that this works. It does not work. You have seen it, tested, and trusted. If you have any other product that you've seen, any videos, put it down in the comment section. I will buy it and I will try it on video before you buy it. So let me be your reviewer. Epic fail. It is supposed to be a donut maker, not a puff puff maker. But since I'm Nigerian, we we'll puff puff it all the way. It's only four dollars. All right, guys, I'll show you guys the finished product. I'm just going to put it in the sink because I'm going to wash it. And it's a little bit slower for me. Pressing the hand, to making it come out, it's not that fast enough. Like how we are fast when we are cutting our puff puff, it's not that. It's a little bit slower. I mean, only one came out good. Yeah, only one came out good. So what are you going to say to people, to people um, when you go to the house and they make this kind of puff for you? Oh, it's good. Some people like puff puff bite size, small size. They call, uh, yeah, they like it small size. They don't like it um, too much. They don't like too much big, big puff puff to put in their mouth. Because they may have like gizzard or, um, what's the name, gizzard in the side. Some little um, fish. Siding fish or whatever they want to have in the middle. Alright guys, here's the finished product. While I wash my hands. Okay, these are the ones right here. Those are the small ones. Yep, these are the And you can see the cannot. difference. That's the one that she molded with her hand. So let me do the one with the 
the one that we are used to. This is my ice cream scoop. I usually put it in the oil so I can get a perfect mix. And I get her here. That's it. And I put it. And it comes right up. And I put it again in the oil. Because I don't like the slimy, sliminess of making puff puff. You might like it, but I don't. And it's faster. Better than your donut maker. It's far better than that your donut maker that you want me to make. Anytime you want to just see something, you want just want to do it. Try! My people, my people. Do it the way our parents have been doing it. It has been working for us. See? See how it came out? Perfect. In less than two minutes i got a perfect finish of that using what what we're supposed to use if you use your hand it will come out more perfect than this and it will be more faster see it all right guys the one that was made by the ice cream scoop see how perfect it is i don't give up when I don't give up, I don't just do it once and be like, oh, I'm giving up. I'm still going to try your donut maker one more time to tell you if it works or it doesn't work. Because sometimes, second time is a charm, third time is the queen. You never know. So let me take this out and then I'm going to try the other one, okay? I'm gonna drop the camera so you can pour this for me. That's okay. Drop the camera so you can pour this. What do you mean that's okay? Where am I gonna put it? Fabian, drop the camera so you can pour this for me. Flip it over. Okay. So you're gonna pour this inside here. Hold it, hold it. Fabian, what are you doing? Hold it. Okay, then we're gonna pour it now. Make sure we pour it. Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. Keep scooping. And one of the things why I don't like about this is that it's a two-man job. You can't do it by yourself. You have to really scoop it with someone else. We got it now. We got it now. Let's show the people what we got. Let's show them what's inside. See what's inside? See now we have the dough inside. So we're going to try one time because I'm not ready to give up. So it's closed. You see how the bottom is closed? Yes. So let's try one more time. We let it go. We let it go. When you let it go, it comes out comes out and you squeeze you close it it's a cut off you see there's no hole to make it a donut instead it's a puff puff maker it's a puff ball maker not a donut maker I'm gonna let it go again one more time and you stop it it's not coming out as a donut so the ad you see that will entice you to buy this is wrong. Definitely wrong. Definitely wrong. It doesn't do its job. So when you want to get a product, the first thing for you to do is go and review those who bought the product. Forget the video. I read those who bought the product. Read the comment section. See those who have the product and see if it actually works for anybody. It might work for that person that did the video because I don't know what they did for it to work, but you have seen it. You've seen it first here. This is a puff ball maker, not a donut maker. That one came out as the hole a little bit. This one got a hole a little bit. But the rest, no, no, no. There's nothing like that. It's not giving you that, that donut, mini donut look you, you need.
It's not even giving you a perfect shape of puff puff. You see the ones I scooped with my hand? The ones I scooped with my hand, you see how they call my real perfect round puff balls? Round and smooth. But the one with the donut maker is kind of bulgy on one end. It's not even giving you that. So I'm going to wait for it to cook and take it out. I'll show you guys. So it's cooked now. This is the only one that came similar to donuts. Similar to donuts. We'll take it out and after that one was this one came a little bit close to a donut hole see all the rest came as puff balls Nigeria will say puff puff that's how it came out so you guys have seen and it's not even as perfect this one almost got a hole in the middle but it missed it again you don't know what the problem is with the product the product is not what was promised that's not what we got this is what we got instead so if you're willing to comment down below if you're willing to comment down below and tell me if you have used this product before and if it worked for you or what method did you use are you seen i used it two different times and the outcome or if you have another product that you want me to try before you go and buy it Put it down in the description, in the comment section. I will go and get it and try it for you and do the review on my channel. Okay? So you guys can see the outcome. These are the rest of our puff puff. We're going to go ahead and enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. So puff puff is a Nigerian delicacy that stretches even to the um, soap edges of West Africa. Where it is mostly known as manza. Puff up is, is a snack with fried dough. They can be enjoyed with a cold glass of beverage or a hot glass of beverage, either as a snack or as a breakfast or as even as a party um, recipe that you will use to enjoy your party. Some small chops, some finger foods. That's what puff puff is. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a puff puff using this donut maker or how to make a donut using the donut maker. I want to see where the success is going to come from today. So Hody, how do you think about the taste? It tastes really good. Tastes really good? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Benita of Fabian and Mom and today I'm going to be showing you a quick review of a donut maker. Uh, if you know if this donut maker came out positive or negative, click the like button and let me know what you think. Comment down below if you have ever tried this donut maker before or if you have any other product that you want me to review on the channel. I will buy it for you before you buy it and I will review it for you. Okay guys, let's go. So this is the donut maker we're going to be trying today. It's been proven. It's, it, this donut maker we actually went viral. So people have tried it and some people got some good response. So I'm going to see what is about today okay 